Hello friends, my name is Ekshans and welcome to Cad Academy. In this lecture, we will discuss the physical interpretation of gradient. Most of us know how to calculate the gradient. If you don't know, then I'll tell you that too here. But most of the time, we just calculate the gradient and don't know what we are calculating as the gradient. So, to be a real engineer, you must be knowing that uh, what you are calculating and what is the physical interpretation of that thing. We are now going to discuss the physical interpretation of gradient. So basically what happens when we calculate a gradient there is a term which is differential operator which is denoted by this delta and this delta is given by del by del x x cap plus del by del y y cap plus del by del z z cap so this is what the delta is and let's move to the gradient gradient this is the first part of the lecture and in this part we will discuss the physical interpretation of gradient in next part we will discuss the physical interpretation of divergence and in third part we will discuss the physical interpretation of curl. So now when we calculate the gradient which is del of f and where f is a field then it tells us that in which direction in which direction change in the field field f is maximum okay gradient of f tells us that in which direction change in the field f is maximum okay basically we can write a simple definition also here this gradient of f tells us that in which direction in which direction you should go to get maximum change in field f now it is more clear i think let's see this in a better way let's say we have two different levels this is level two and this is level 1 these levels are of different value of the field if the value of electric field is e2 here on this whole surface then the e1 is the value of the electric field on this surface this can be electric field this can be any of the field okay now this is the level 1 and this is the level 2 so basically constant field on the whole surface now let's say we want to move from level 1 to level 2 we can either go in this direction to reach here or we can go in this direction to reach at the level 2 now let's say we are moving distance of d naught in this direction and getting the jump of l naught in the field level okay moving the distance of d naught and getting the jump of l naught in this level now the same distance if you travel in this direction which is d naught then the jump we will get 
will be L1 which will not be equal to this L0 this will be L1 and from here also you can see that L0 is less than L1 okay so basically when we are moving in this direction we are getting the maximum level jump because this has infinite slope so when we calculate the gradient of a field we will get this as the direction and the change will be the magnitude of the gradient let's see we have discussed that this is the del operator so we denote the gradient of a field as del and then f we know that del is what divided by del y y cap plus this thing this is what del and we are multiplying the field f here okay now when we will multiply the field f here we will get what plus del by del y this thing plus del f by del z in z cap this is what we are getting as the gradient of f now the strength of the change we are getting is given by the magnitude of gradient of f which is given by simply del f by del x square del f by del y square plus del f by del z square power half and the direction the direction of gradient of f which is this direction is given by direction of gradient of f is given by gradient of f which is this thing and divided by the magnitude of gradient of f which is this thing and this is also called as unit vector Now I think the physical interpretation of gradient is now clear. Now in next part we will discuss the physical interpretation of divergence.